in your car chassis kit, you'll find two acrylic mounting plates. They'll look brown because of a stuck-on protective covering that you can simply peel off to reveal the shiny, transparent plastic. Also in the kit, there are four plastic wheels, four DC motors, four encoding discs, of which we'll talk about in a moment, and some spacers and nuts and bolts for putting it all together. The first thing we'll do is mount one of the motors. For each motor, there's a plastic disc called an encoding disc. You can use this in conjunction with a special sensor to detect how fast the motor is spinning. We'll attach this to the motor first. One motor will be mounted at each corner, like so. To mount the motor, we'll use one of these plastic spacers. We'll insert this into the underside of one of the plastic plates. Uh, this will be used to mount the motor against. Slide two of the long bolts through the holes provided in the plastic case surrounding the motor. Push them through the two holes in the plastic mounting plate and then tighten them up using two nuts. You'll repeat this for the other three motors. To connect the second acrylic plate, first we'll use the brass hexagonal poles and small screws. Simply attach the poles to the side of the acrylic plate where you've mounted the motors with the screws. The mounting points are in the middle and at each of the corners. Then simply attach the top chassis by screwing through the holes at each corners and in the middle into the hexagonal poles. All that's left to do is to fit the wheels we simply slot onto the plastic axles. And there you have it, a four motor chassis for a robotic project. Perfect for use with an Arduino or Raspberry Pi.